Buckeyes open up the 2010 season in just a few days against the thundering herd of Marshall. Welcome to the Scarlet and Gray preview. The Buckeyes open up the season on a rare Thursday night game and head coach Jim Tressel addressed the media discussing the upcoming opponent, how he thought preseason camp went, and his expectations for the Buckeyes this upcoming season. We feel as if offensively they're going to spread it out. That's kind of what's been talked about and they're going to fling it all over. But, um, you know, I know Coach Holiday's been uh, in programs that, uh, that making sure you have balance are very important. So I'm sure that that will certainly be a part of it. Defensively, they have a group of coaches who have come from a lot of different places. Um, some have uh, been believers in high pressure, blitz, man, all that stuff. Some have been uh, zone, uh, fire zones, zone pressures, whatever. So, um, so it was kind of an extension through preseason that we have to get ready for everything. You know, I would say this. I don't think our guys are sitting there saying, hey, we did pretty well in the Rose Bowl, and that automatically is going to translate into doing even better the next time. They've gone to work to become that. So, yeah, do I sense that they've, they've really prepared themselves to get better? Yeah, I really do. I really think this whole group um, you know, has worked extremely hard. You know, I think he's, he's going along in his learning curve at the speed that he's going along in his, you know, chronological age, you know, and some guys, you know, they get older and they don't get better. You know, that can happen. But I think he has learned and, and put it to use and uh, thoroughly understands that I mentioned uh, on Herbie and Bruce's uh, radio show today that the thing that they asked, what will you notice about Terrell? And I said, I don't know what everyone will notice, but I'll tell you what's true is he knows a lot more about what's happening in and around simply because he's experienced it now and he he may have been able to play it back four times on a film and comprehend it but now he can get under center you know and and, and in those split seconds uh, now it's gonna be a great challenge for him on Thursday because it's not like you can go out there and say okay we think they're going to do one of these three things, and when we're in this look, they typically do that. And when they're in this look, you know, we're going out there kind of blind. And so this is going to be uh, how well can you adjust on the run and figure it out on the sideline and, and all that kind of thing. So, uh, but you know, I think his I think his progress has been really good. It's one of the most difficult things, especially when you don't know what you're going to get. And so. I think what you do and what we talked about yesterday is you take the things that you think you did the best this preseason and then you add to it all the things you better have ready in case if they're in this you got you know you need to do this and if they're in this you better have this ready um, so you know maybe it's not as small of a playbook you're walking in there with as maybe you would like to in a first game uh, but you know, that's what the situation is, and we have no idea what the heck they're going to be doing. And The Buckeyes are ranked number two nationally, and they have plenty of returning starters from last year's Rose Bowl team, including the newest senior captains, and here is what they had to say. Uh, getting very excited, you know, coming down. It's getting close to Thursday. Uh, really get to run out the, you know, run out the tunnel one more time in the show and, uh, you know, get to go at some other guys other than our teammates. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, we was working hard all, all season for this time. Uh, it's time for us to play games. So. Uh, we're going to have a couple mistakes. It happens first game, but it's how we rebound and just keep getting back up. Uh, we know Marshall's going to come in with their best shot, but we'll, we'll be ready. I think this defense, you know, we have a lot more experience coming back. Uh, you know, I think that we gel together. Uh, you know, we have a lot better, you know, chemistry coming in. You know, and uh, I just think, you know, just uh, competitive and uh, looking to make plays. It's very exciting. Obviously, any opening game is exciting. But to be able to come out on a Thursday night, you don't get many night games in Ohio Stadium. And it's something everybody's looking forward to. If you win by one or two or 45, you know, it's a win. But, you know, we just want to look, you know, hopefully to get out and uh, see how well, how good we really are. You know, guys hype us up defensively, offensively. But, you know, go against other opponents other than your own teammates. You want to see you know, how the guys react, you know, in adverse situations when, you know, in camp you can reset the clock, but in a real game you can't. So if we happen to get down on Thursday, which I hope we don't, um, we want to see how guys react in those kind of situations. 
The last time these two teams met was in 2004 when the Buckeyes won on a Mike Nugent field goal as the clock ran out. Now, 2004 was a rebuilding period for head coach Jim Trestle and probably one of the worst seasons for the Buckeyes as they finished with an 8-4 record. And now turning to the Thundering Herd, they're coming off of a 7-6 season. They will be starting their first game under first-year head coach Doc Holliday, who will be replacing former OSU assistant Mark Snyder. Stay tuned to Columbus Wire TV for all of your game day coverage with video reports, game summaries, and exclusive photos. For Columbus Wire TV, I am Ashley Gnelzy.